Rotate View by Two Points tool. We have two files that are going to illustrate different ways to use this tool. The first is going to be a plan sheet where someone has unrotated it, meaning north is straight up, and we need to rotate the view so that the border is horizontal. The second file is going to be a clip frame file, and we'll see how we can rotate the view there. First, we'll look at the plan sheet. As you can see in this view, north arrow is straight up. Someone had unrotated the view, and we want to rotate the view so that the sheet or border is horizontal. Now, the quickest way to do this is holding down my shift key and right clicking. I'll get the pop up menu. You'll go here to this tool. You'll see you have two choices top view, which it's currently in, and then rotate view. I'm going to select rotate view. Now, it wants me to pick two points. Now, if you already have a border, that's easy. You start with the bottom left corner left click, which is data. Now it wants you to pick a second point that will define the x-axis of the rotated view. So I'm just going to go to the midpoint and left click again, and my view is rotated, and I pan over. Now if I want to keep this, which I probably would, I would want to save my settings. I could do a control F to save settings. Let's look at the other file. We'll do a close. We'll open up the second file, and here you can see we have a bunch of clip frames for doing uh, submittal for PS and E. I'm going to zoom in, and this is layout five. There's L5, and I want to rotate the view so that this clip frame is horizontal to my view. So I'm going to again hold down the shift key, right click. It remembers the last tool I used, so I'm going to select that. You can see the tool I'm in is called rotate view, and the method is set to two points. I'm going to pick two points. I'm going to go to the bottom left corner of the clip frame, left click. I'm going to go to the midpoint. I can left click. And again, the view is rotated so that that clip frame is horizontal to my view. Again, if I wanted to keep this, I would save my settings. And the shortcut to do that is Control F. If I don't do that, it would just revert back to the prior view rotation. Mm -hmm.